Hey everyone, we're here at Key to B. Uh, today's special guest is the mega magic magician, Mike Durzo. What? Hey Mike, how are you? How are you? Good, Good. to see you, Stuart. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So, um, I guess our first question is, when did the magic all start? I was about seven years old, I got my first magic kit. And you know, like most kids, most kids mature and throw it away and other kids don't. So that led me to where I am today and uh, as a professional magician. And what is your, your magic show? Who is it geared towards? What we try to do in our show is just make it a fun, interactive show that everyone can enjoy. It doesn't matter your age, your race, your culture. Uh, it's, it's a show that was designed to really appeal to anyone. We've taken the show all around the world. Even uh, we were just in China performing for people that didn't even speak a word of English. So it's nice to see that, you know, magic sort of crosses over the um, cultural barrier and the language barrier. And it, it's something because it's visual, you know, anyone can appreciate it. What secrets did you learn about the industry as you were going through your career path? Well, uh, many secrets along the way, you know, not just tricks themselves, but, you know, uh, how to interact with people, how, what makes people intrigued, mystified, um, things that really, you know, give the entertainment value in a show. What uh, is your usual process for planning, uh, preparing and creating a new trick? So when we create new tricks, it's not just myself. I sit down with a team of magicians and illusion builders and we say, what do we want to do? Do we want to create uh, an effect that's going to make someone disappear? Well, how are we going to go about doing that? And we'll sort of brainstorm all of the different ways of making something possible. Um, and the best part about it is, you know, it, it's amazing how many different methods we can come up with, but then we have to choose the best one and then design the illusion around that. So I've heard a lot about this triple switch trick you're doing. Can you elaborate on that and kind of what's involved? Yeah, so the triple switch is our twist on the classic metamorphosis. So basically, uh, my assistant goes into the box and I stand in front of the box and then hold up a curtain and within a split second, my assistant is now standing where I was and I've disappeared. So when she goes to open the box, there's now someone else in the box and I appear at the back of the audience. Um, this was our twist on a, a you know, one of the greatest magic effects which has been performed by magicians around the world. And you're going to tell me how you do it, right? Can you keep a secret? No. <laughs> Forget about <laughs> it. <laughs> right. For your career, you've been doing it since you were young. Where do you see yourself in five years, ten years, twenty years? Do you see yourself playing at Vegas at some point? Well, I've been to, to Vegas many times before. <laughs> um, you know, to me, it's not really so much about where you are. I love doing shows. I have a, a nightly show in Niagara Falls where we get tons, hundreds and hundreds of people, if not up to a thousand people a night coming out to the show. Um, I've also done large festivals, you know, for up to 10,000 people at a time. So, you know, in, in terms of my career five, ten years down the road, you know, I love the idea of uh, traveling with my show, but I also love the idea of having a place where people just come to see me and uh, the show itself, whether it be in a theater, or uh, you know, a festival or somewhere in the city. Your show is family friendly, it's for everybody. Uh, but would you go further uh, for your career, let's say, if you came up with certain tricks that may, might be considered more extreme? Because there's various types of, of magicians out there. Uh, if it meant furthering your career, you know, maybe getting that show on Vega, in Vegas. Of course, yeah. You know, uh, to me, I'm always open to new ideas and new challenges. And, you know, I, I love extreme magic, too. You know, we always, like I said, try to put a twist on a classic. We took the famous bullet catch, where a magician catches a bullet between his teeth and put our own fun twist to it by using a paintball gun with a signed paintball. Um, so this, again, was sort of a twist that we put on our magic show. Um, but, yeah, in terms of extremes and how far I would go, I guess, uh, you know, sky's the limit. Well, you know, if we can dream it and we can believe it, I, I would go for it. Well, Mike, thanks for coming to Key to B. Uh, it was a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me, Stuart. Lots of fun here. You're welcome. Everybody watching, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Key to B.